Hey everyone, welcome back to Physio Trends. This is me, Physio Prem Shah, and in this video, I'm going to give you simplified information on ECG analysis, ECG interpretation. To understand ECG interpretation in a better way, first we should know how the heart pumps and how the circulation of the blood is there from the right atrium to the left ventricle. So let's start with understanding this heart circulation first. We all know that from the superior and inferior vena cava, the blood from the system is directed towards the heart. From there, now it enters the right atrium and from there with the help of tricuspid valve, now it enters to the right ventricle. Now from here onwards, it is taken up by the pulmonary artery. Yes, my dear friends, this is the only artery in our body which carries unoxygenated or unpurified blood. Pulmonary artery carries all the unoxygenated blood to the lungs. Lungs purifies this blood with the oxygenation and from there pulmonary veins brings oxygenated fresh blood to the left atrium. From left atrium again bicuspid valve enters the blood to the left ventricle and from there it gets pumped through the iota to the hole over the body. So this is the circulation I was talking about. Now in this circulation, whenever we see the chamber is getting emptied, it is called as effect of depolarization. And whenever the chamber is getting filled by the blood, it is called as repolarization. I'm telling you these terms because this will be helpful for us when we are trying to understand the ECG and PQRST waves. Also adding to this, we need to understand that this heart pumps because of some electrical impulses carried starting from the SA node then AV node and from AV node it transferred to the Purkinje his fibers and this gives electrical impulses to all over the heart. Why I am telling you because this also helps us to understand the depolarization and repolarization activity. Okay so now you are ready to understand what are the PQRST wave in the ECG waveform. So let's start with the P wave here. P wave here signifies the atrial depolarization. Now just now I told you depolarization means what? Depolarization means emptying of the chamber. So atrium whenever it is getting emptied, it is understood by the P wave. So P wave is the significance of atrial depolarization. Now it's time that we understand what is PR interval. Now PR interval over here is nothing but the duration or time taken by the impulses to travel from atria through the conduction to the Purkinje fibers. And normal duration for this is 0.12 to 0.20 which means that small boxes like in ECG we have seen that there are small small boxes and one big box. So each small box contains of 1 mm. Okay, and there are like five boxes together and makes a square which becomes a 5 mm of square. So in this, if you imagine 3 mm to 5 mm, which is like almost one box of the duration will be taken up by the PR interval. Because one small square, which is one millimeter, signifies the duration of 0 0.04 milliseconds. So if we combine 3 to 5, it becomes somewhere around 0 0.12 to 0 0.20 milliseconds. Now it's time that we understand what does the QRS complex signifies in this situation. So QRS complex basically signifies the ventricular depolarization. P wave was for the atrial depolarization, QRS is for ventricular depolarization. Whenever the ventricles are getting emptied, we will see this QRS complex and the normal duration for this will be 1 to 3 mm of squares which again signifies 0.06 to 0.12 milliseconds of duration. Next thing ECG interpretation is ST segment. ST segment basically is beginning of the ventricular repolarization. Till now we were speaking about the depolarization. Now from the ST segment we can think of that it is a starting of repolarization and it plays a very significant role when it comes to find out any abnormality with the heart. And that also we are going to learn in the next part of this video. So stay tuned with the and the last but not the least, the T wave, which is nothing but yes, ventricular repolarization. It signifies ventricular repolarization. Now, this is how, my dear friends, we can interpret normal ECG on an ECG strip. One more pro tip over here that you can find out heart rate as well with the help of ECG strip for six seconds. 
if you just observe a six second ecg strip and you just have to count how many qrs complex are there in that particular time duration and into 10 you have to do to just calculate the heart rate of that particular ecg i really hope this video gives you basic idea about the ecg interpretation and what is ecg what does pqrs wave signifies and if you want to know more about the abnormalities in the ecg just wait for my next video on the physio trends channel till then if you have any doubts do let me know in the comment section and also always stay connected with the physio trends